Sunshine Layden's ingredients all share one trait. Everything is organic that we have here, so. She says she uses it for tastier and healthier food. Because that's the whole uh, reason behind the organic food, you know, uh, industry is, is that it has no chemicals. So she's disappointed to find out the vegetables she's using right now may contain residues of the very chemicals she's trying to avoid. It's appalling, um, and but you really, we really, we really have to look and see exactly why that's happening. Through access to information, CBC News obtained the results of tests conducted on organic fruits and vegetables by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. Over the last two years, 45.8 percent of them tested positive for pesticide residues. The organization that represents organic trade in Canada calls it concerning. While farmers may not use pesticides, it says there are other ways food can become contaminated. Probably coming in from uh, environmental contaminations and residues, uh, water, soil, uh, from, from other crops, uh, possibly from what we call post-harvest handling. The CFIA says none of the food posed a health risk, testing well below levels considered toxic, and below levels found on conventional produce. This food safety expert isn't all that worried, but says consumers paying a premium for organic produce should adjust their expectations. If the money is being spent to uh, avoid uh, pesticide residues and um, have access to food which is healthy, then I think the money is not well spent. Given the choice, Leyden says she'll still opt for less chemicals with organic produce, She'd also like the government to be more open with test results. I think we need to know as consumers. We have the right to know. She also says she'll try to buy as much food directly from farmers as she can, saying that'll give her more confidence in how it's grown and handled, even though she'll never be 100% sure if it's pesticide-free. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.